Oh, pardon me, I'm burping away, so I don't think there's anyone there yet, so it's fine. Hello, 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 Margaret. How are you, my love? Oh, people put the phone down already as soon as I started picking. Oh, there we go. You've boosted up again now. How is everybody? How are you all? I bet you'd all forgotten because I certainly had. I didn't realise it was Sunday today. It's weird, isn't it? Just very strange. Ooh, funny he is. Uh, right. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I don't think it'll be a very long one today because I don't think I've got that much news for you. Hello, Claire. Afternoon. Heard you. Pardon you. Yeah, sorry, I did burp then. Uh, Catherine says good afternoon. Carol says good afternoon. I didn't think they said there were no people in when I looked at the thing. Hello, Van. Hello, Mari. I'm here. You may begin. I haven't started yet today, Mari. I will tell you, though, very quickly, while there's only 23 people there, I bought some um, tinted moisturiser. And I think I've brought the wrong colour because I went sat down here and I look like Donald Trump. So I've been in the bathroom trying to wipe it off with the towel and everything. Uh, hello, Caroline. How are you? Oh, my word. How is everybody? How are you all? What are you up to? What's your weather like? What are you having for tea? What are you watching on telly? Oh, I need to do the telly thing today. Uh, Suzanne says hello. Jan says hello, gorgeous. Gorgeous, even though I've got this on. Jill says you who Ooh, Jill. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Um, how is everybody? How are you all? I might sit back a little bit, actually. There you go. Get comfortable. Um, Vayne's just chilling this afternoon. I wish I could. I've kind of not... I've been up since early and I feel like I've done nothing, but it's nearly the end of the day, isn't it? Afternoon, everyone. Sunny here in Alveston. Staying with my daughter. Alveston, down the road to me. Isn't that Alveston? Hi, John. Everyone says Angela. Su oh, Angela. Oh, I've got your thing. I'll have to think about the lollipop lady thing. Hi, John. Everyone. Susan and Pat on the Isle of Wight. Princess says. Hi, John. How are you? I'm all right. Thank you. Got a funny knee today, but I'm all right. Jacqueline's afternoon. John, how are you? I'm good. Thank you. Attractor. John, you could never look like Donald Trump. No, I did. I looked orange down here. It was ridiculous. Um... Mark says, hello there, John, everyone. Hope you're well. We are indeed. And Jan says, been to the model train exhibition today with my husband. God knows why. I never asked him to come a festival of <laughs> wilts with me. Well, maybe, you know. Lovely sunny day here in Northumberland, says Jill. Oh, now you've seen Dulcie. She's up there. Chilly, but lovely to see blue skies. It's always cold up there. Uh, Angela's been out on the motorbike. Could do with a nap now. You can have a nap in a minute. I won't keep you long. Half an hour or so. Um... Uh, Tina says hello. Hi, John. Hi, Tina. How are you, my lovely? Oh, bins, refuse and food tomorrow. Thank you. Oh, there's Dulcie. There's Dulcie now. And now I don't know if she... Dulcie, are you up north or are you home? Are you home at the moment? Uh, Christine says hello. Sunny, rainy, windy here in Yorkshire. Oh, that's a shame. Lynn says afternoon. Trying to type with 145 kilos of dogs. Three. Deciding their lap dogs. Oh. Uh, Jackie says, hi, John. Thanks for recommending cream. Working well. Oh, good. Oh, good. I'm glad, Jackie. I'm glad about that. Uh, have you been in your tub today? No, no. Um, well, yesterday. I went in yesterday after my personal training session yesterday. And the, to me, the water looked a bit murky because they don't send you anything to put in. Oh, you're welcome, Tina, my love. Jan's gone. He. Uh, what news? Oh, hang on, hang on. Uh, new, little Paul has no news yet. Uh, his operation is the end of May. So he, nothing will happen with Little Paul till the end of May. Um, do you think he should... Right, OK, so he put on his um, Just Giving £6,000, which is nowhere near enough to keep him going. Uh and he's gone over the £6,000. And I said, you need to put your target up because people will think, oh, he's got his money now and nobody else will donate or anything. Don't you think he should put it up? I do. Uh, afternoon, John says, Carol. Dulce, oh, Dulcie's heading up north this evening. Uh, what time this evening, Dulcie? Uh, afternoon, Sue, uh, she says. Uh, no, afternoon, John says, Sue. I've been on the sofa all day today with high flare fibromyalgia. Oh, Jacqueline, we covered that on um, 
Dr. Mike's thing, didn't we, last week? Afternoon, says Jan. Dawn says hello. Mitzi says, met the lovely Yvonne McAtamley. Uh, I think you spelt it right. At you talks to Quilt Show on Friday. Oh, I forgot you, it was you talks to this weekend. <gasps> Maybe I should have gone. Is it finished today? I think it's finished today, isn't it? I have your tote bag that I wanted so badly. Brilliant, Tina. I'm glad you got that. Brilliant. Um, so I was saying, Little Paul, I was saying something else about Little Paul. And before, what was I saying before Little Paul's news? Cream. Oh, no, the cold tub, the cold tub. Afternoon, a big hugs, Little Paul. He needs to put his funding up. I know, I know he does. Yeah, he needs to increase it. There you go. Right, I'll tell him. I'll tell him you all said that. Julie says afternoon. Catherine says, oh, Catherine's birthday today. It's Catherine's birthday today. Shirley Morell. You at the caravan or at home, Shirley Morell. Uh, Lynn says, I'd already thought little Paul should raise. Yes, exactly, Lynn. Margaret, mini baby bell says, good afternoon, John, everyone. Hope all is well. Good, thank you. Donna says, hello, John, everyone. Chilly but sunny day up here in the Highlands. Oh, that's nice. Uh, that's quite nice. Anyway, so last, last night after my personal training session, I got in it and I felt it was a bit, gr not grimy, not algae-y, but I just didn't feel it was quite right. So I emptied all the water out. So I filled it up again today. And of course, it's been a beautiful sunny day, hasn't it, all day? So now, it, now it's time to get in it. It's freezing cold again. Uh... Oh, how funny. They just messed me. It's weird, isn't it? Lo look, Lumi Therapy. They can hear me, can't they? Um, Donna. Hello, John. Everyone chill. I've done that one. Uh, Linda says, happy Sunday. Margaret says, I think you'll need quite a bit more money. Mortgage bill. I know, I know. But Margaret, we can't pay for everything. You know, he is an adult. He did. He, we should, you should always be prepared, shouldn't you? Like Boy Scouts. Uh, happy birthday, Catherine, says Sue. Afternoon, John. Everyone can't believe how how fast last week went. She's, Sue, but I worked every day last week. I know a lot of people work every day. But, oh, blimey, I'm knackered. And then Paul D. Paul upstairs said, it's not like you have a difficult job. Just stand there and shout for five hours. Do you put ice in it? I don't put ice in it. You put icy. You put, um, because uh, I'm not spending all that money on ice. You you fill little, col uh, start again. When you finish the little, not these, but like the the, pe the plastic versions of these, fill them with water, put them in the freezer, and then just drop those in the water and then you can refreeze them again. So I'm not buying ice. Because it costs you a fortune to buy all that ice every day, wouldn't it? Um, uh, Mari, my ops also at the end of May, but not life serious. Oh, well, um, you see, little Paul, uh, I don't know if he's... Uh, it's not my place to talk about little Paul, but he seems to think that... Because uh, he's looking at that... that um, positive side he's going to he, i think he's thinking oh they'll just cut it cut it out i'll have a chemo wash through and i'll be fine but he's having 30 percent of his tummy taken out that's an awful lot of tummy isn't it to be taken out uh hello john just had a lovely dog walk can't stay long off bell ringing yet again well polly maybe i should change the time of my chats to be in time with your um uh bell ring and campanology campanology yeah i know i used to do it when i was at school so how old will i've been 13 13. Uh, hi, John. We're still having four seasons in a day here in Livingston. Oh, no. I think your job would be exhausting mentally. Lynn, it is. But I don't think of it like that. But people who don't do it think, oh, you just stand there. and Then make them go on and do it. And they'll soon, they soon realise. It's like when all the producers and all the people in the office go, oh, I could do that. I could do that. Uh, Lynn Chuyet says, afternoon, John and everyone. I've been busy putting everything back in my new kitchen. Oh, is it ready? I haven't seen a picture on Facebook yet, Lynn Twitt, is it not yet then? Uh, hi, John. Happy Sunday, says Valerie. Uh, oh, what did I say? What did I say, Princess? Isn't I, When I say tummy, I mean wherever your food goes. I don't know what it is. Uh, Patricia's afternoon, John. Hope you find finding your cold water tub is doing you good. I haven't... Uh, well, I don't... At the moment, I'm not seeing any anything. Is I just get out and I'm sort of all tingly. Then I get really hot. Then I get a bit, ooh, like that. Then I want to eat chocolate. And the whole idea is it's helped with the weight loss. Uh, oh, Denise. Now, Denise, I've just had some news about you. I'm not going to say anything in case it's not public yet. But um, my Daniel, you know, Daniel, my business partner, he just, I haven't heard from him all week because he's been so busy, right? And he sent me a message about you. And not horrible. It's nothing horrible. It's nothing horrible. I won't say anything in case it's not been announced to the public yet. Uh, Liz says, good afternoon. Brian sends his love. Oh, Liz, how are you, my love? Have you made, how's your long arm quilter? How's your long arm quilter? Uh, 
Yes, that's what I thought, Jackie. That's what I thought. Hello, John Norris says, Jane Vane says, it's not that easy. I tried on YouTube and it's harder than you think. It is difficult. You asked Denise, Denise, that Denise that was there, she's been doing it for like 100 years now. And even though we love it, we absolutely love it, um, it's hard work. Oh, Lynn, I posted a video yesterday. Peter comes tomorrow. Oh, I'm not going to look then until it's all finished. I don't want to see until it's all finished. Jackie, look. Oh, all right, okay. A tractor. Oh, there you go. Oh, the tractor's a nurse, so she needs about that. Uh, he showed a picture, and the doctor said he's got to have 30% of it taken away. Anyway, uh, I imagine it's busy full day, and you do it fabulously. Thank you, Margaret, Mini, uh, Mini Baby Bell. Anne says, hello. Uh, oh, now, a tractor. I could do you with you doing me a favour. Um, you know, when I'm coming to Quilt Fair... And last year, I mean, I'm, I'm just presuming you're going to pick me up. But last year you came to pick me up and everything, which I was totally grateful for. And then I went back the next day. Can you have a look to see if there's any flights on the evening so I can come back on the same day? Yvonne's so up to here with the new shop and, and new Toxter. I don't want to hassle her or anything. But I just wondered if there's um, a plane I can catch back at night time, that would make life easier for me. Uh... Carol says, working this morning, just done some hoovering or hovering. She's just done some hovering and now put some clean clothes on the air. Right? Nice. Oh, Denise, kiss, 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 laugh, 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 love you. Won't say anything yet, Denise. Uh, oh, you're talking about when I said you'd done it for 100 years. Uh, costing lots as we've ordered an 18 foot shed for it. Liz, have you got a big garden? I didn't get around to go to your house, did I? Oh, a tractor's finding out for me. Thank you, a tractor. Um, I just think it'd be easier... If I do the, the day and then get on an aeroplane and come home rather than stay over because it then digs into the next day. And I'm so busy, so busy at the moment that I kind of an extra day at home would be good. That's all. Um, Lynette, they tried selling a tent on The Apprentice. What a total shower of sugar. Oh, is it bad? I've never watched that. Oh, Alan Sugar. Um, I've never I've never watched The Apprentice, but um, I have seen because they didn't they weren't there with Scottish Derek. And Marina. Will I make a new video? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Claire, I imagine she will. But I think she's a little bit hectic at the moment because it was a big, big move for her. And she literally moved in, opened the shop and then went off to Utah to do a whole show. And it takes forever to do a whole show. So I'm sure she will do eventually. Um, well, she'll have to because it's like, well, it's not actually. You can still use her little bits. Of, the, of her sitting there. You just have to check in the footage. It shows the front of our old shop, doesn't it? Um, so I presume all they'll do is just put a picture where she talks about it. Just take the old picture out and put the new picture in. And sadly, it's not... Uh, it's a lovely it's a lovely space she's got, but it's not got a shop front or anything like that. Uh, William, uh, all right, which day are you attending? Uh, oh, I'm presuming the day when we cut the ribbons. So I'm presuming it could be the first day. Is that what I did last year? Did I do? Oh, no, I didn't do it last year, did I? The year before, did I do the first day? I've got my bikini ready for the ice bath. And Denise, you don't need the bikini. There's, the only people that can see you in my garden are the sheep. And me, obviously. And I'll just look away discreetly like that. God, can you imagine? Them all bobbing around in the cold water like that. Anyway, I'll stop that thought straight away. Straight away, I'll stop that thought. Um, and now, isn't it funny, Denise? I thought at four o'clock on a Sunday afternoon, I thought she'd be sipping the champagne. Or something like that with her lifestyle. I'll tell. Yeah, I, a tractor. I haven't spoken to Yvonne since her shop opening last week because I, I could see how exhausted she was and that she was packing for um, you talked her. So I just said, "Oh, I'll definitely do it." Because at that to that point, we hadn't agreed that I was going to do it. So I said, "I'll definitely do it," but we didn't talk logistics or anything like that. Thomas, uh, can you say hello to my mum, who's a good mum? Are you coming to Coventry next week? Uh, 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 hello, Thomas's mum. I don't know what your name is, but you're a good mum. Uh, and I'm not in Coventry next week. No, because I'm away in Warrington next week. But I've got an appointment at the knee specialist on the following week in Coventry. It, well, I think it's in Coventry, but it's not in the town centre. Um, but I'm not going to Earlston. I think you live in Earlston, don't you? Hi, John. Hope you're well, says Sue. I'm very well, thank you. I'm very well indeed. I've had a long week because I've been at Sloane Street every day this week, plus everything else that's been going on. Uh, so now I'm off. I'm not back in, in Sloane Street, if you saw my Facebook. I'm not back in Sloane Street now till the 23rd. And everyone's like, oh, have a lovely time off. Have a lovely time off. And I was like, well, I've got today off. 
And then I've got tomorrow off. I've got my hair cut tomorrow morning. And then the personal trainer's coming round. He hasn't decided what time he's coming yet. Um, then on Tuesday, I've gone to a big funeral in uh, Oxford. And I was just checking where it was. For some reason, I thought it was this side of Oxford. So I was thinking, you know what? These will be there in no time at all. But it's in OX1. Oh, Lynn says, I have an easy quilt coming over from Australia next month. I'm thinking of taking it to Malvern. Just wondered if it will be worth the journey. Right, now, I've heard from a lot of people around here that Malvern's a really, really lovely one. And it is the nearest one to me. Um, when is it? When is it, Lynn Tewitt? Um, but yeah, anyone, anyone been to Malvern, should Lynn take her Australian friend? It's a long way to go, though, Lynn, isn't it? From, um, aren't you, um, I'm, I'm saying that, I don't know where you live. Lynn Tewitt, I'm not sure where you live. I, for some reason, I think you live in Guildford or somewhere like that. Uh, oh, no, so, so I love a good funeral, me. Um, it wasn't actually, uh, to be honest, right, the funeral, I didn't know the person whose funeral it is, but her daughter is a very, very good friend of ours, you know, like mine and Francesca's and Cleese and, and that gang and Gordner and all that lot. So, and Caroline. So uh, we're all going to support Koki. We're all going to support. Hello, Sharon. Have you watched, have watched you on TV for over a year and you brighten up my days? Oh, that's very random, Liz, but thank you very much indeed. That's not Liz who's bought the big shed. That's a different Liz. Um, so, only a year. I've been on telly for 20 years. Why well, is it 20 years? Yeah. Oh, I started on this morning at the end of 1999. Right at the end of 1999. That's frightening, isn't it? That's 24 years, isn't it? Uh, anyway, 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 anyway. Um, did you ask me a question? Oh, Malvern. Malvern. Anybody been to Malvern? Oh, here you go. I've been to Malvern before COVID. It was a great show. Ali says, Bath. Oh, now, Ali, right, Ali, this Ali here, she was in Teddington this week, and she and hubby, Stewie, dressed up really smart. They had a funeral to go to. They had a funeral to go to. And now they're in Bath going to another funeral of the brother of the person whose funeral they went to in Teddington. I found them a lovely house to buy in Teddington. Just eight and a half million. In fact, in fact, I then, it made me then go on to right move and have a look. There's a house in Twickenham, right? For 29.9 million. 29.9 million. Who in Twickenham's got that kind of money? I'm sure it'll sell. Uh, right, Jacqueline says, I've watched you since 1999. Thank you, Jacqueline. Andrew says, we'll have to have a party for your 25th at the end of the year. Oh, yeah, because it'll be the end. Of, it'll be, it will be 25 years. At the, it's right, it was right at the end of the year. It might have been right at the end or just the beginning of, of um, 2020. No, not 20, 2000. Uh, Van, pity you're not going to the Doncaster quilting show. No, that's too far to go, I'm afraid. And that's Stuart's. That's Stuart's show. Anyway, that one is name. Um... Oh, Princess has as well. Uh, Sharon, I'm just trying to rethread my overlocker. I can't get the lower loop to play. Right, okay. Sharon, which one have you got? Because on some of them, you can open it out and you read in the manual, there's a little clip that you can unclip and the lower looper comes out. You put your thread through it and then you push it back in. So just check. If you've got the 664, I think that's what that does. The lower looper comes out, you put the thread through and then you push it back in. Uh, same streets in Redditch, uh, Thomas, Redditch. Uh, Imho, oh, in my humble opinion, uh, you're the, you were the best presenter on this morning. Yeah, it didn't stop Philip getting rid of me, though, did it? Denise says, Moulton, I think she means Malvern, well worth a visit from D in Cornwall. Sharon says, oh, Britannia 4D, uh, you'll need to ring Gorgeous George, won't you, for that? I don't know. Did you buy it from us? The trouble is, when they when the experts come on, I don't then learn it, do I? Because I just let them talk about it. Hayden says, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Hayden. Um, anyone else got a Britannia 4D? Sorry, I'm just rubbing my knee. It's hurting a little bit. Uh, it's got a little lever that should just thread. Oh, OK. Yeah, you should just thread it. You should just push it through. What's the problem? Shazza. What's the problem, then? Can you not see it? Do you want to buy my glasses? Um... So, yeah, so anyone else been to Malvern? Is it a good one to go to? It literally is... Oh, actually, let me look it up. Let me look it up while I'm sitting here. What's it just called? Malvern Quilt Fair. Malvern Quilt Show 2024. Uh, 
Malvern. No, that can't be it. Tickets £2? Is that right? No, I don't think that's it. I don't think that's it. Quilts UK Malvern, is that it? Oh, that's the same website. Um, Thursday to Saturday... No, Thursday to Sunday in the Three Counties Showground. Worcester. Mulvaney, Worcestershire. That's very close to me. What? Oh, it doesn't say... Oh, yeah. 16th to the 19th of May. Oh, that's quite soon. Oh, I haven't got the... May. Oh, there's my diary. 16th to the 19th of May. Oh, Dulce, if you're back, we could go on the Sunday. Oh, no, because you'd have to get back. We'd have to get back on the 19th, wouldn't you? Anyway, uh, oh, hang on. Let me have a look. I saw all these messages coming through now. Uh, bet you were sad when everything happened at TM. It doesn't bother me. I haven't watched it. I haven't watched it since I left. When they put Jason on as a fashion expert, I just thought this is ridiculous. So I, don't, I haven't watched it since. Uh, Mum's over the L in the 550. She brought on Sewing Street. She never put it down. It's brilliant, isn't it? Uh, nope. Got my own on. Thank you. Oh, what did I ask Sharon? When she says, nope, got my own on. What did I ask Sharon? Oh, well. Uh, Teresa says, I love Malvern. Bethan says, Malvern is in Maine. It's a great show. Uh, Hayden says, sorry, forgot to send you the link to my blog. Yes, you did. Margaret says, not that I've had time to read anything at the moment. For your information, John, Wad's got another op on his... Oh, oh, this is Wad's husband. Got to, ha got to have another operation on his knee. Is he still having problems? Lots of pain. Ooh, I have with my knee as well at the moment. Uh, Emma says, it's run by Grover Shows. Now, quilt shows are cheap and great. You have to say affordable, not cheap. You learn that on shopping telly. Never call anything cheap. You say it's affordable. I shall put it on the bucket list then. There you go, Lynn. Uh, well, Lynn, I, oh, I can't say if I can go, but I'm free on the Sunday and I'm doing pavers on the Wednesday up to the Wednesday night, but I might be able to go on the Thursday. Oh, glasses, glasses, glasses. Um, uh, uh, Emma says, I say that after going only to Arding Lee Ardingly once. That's on the Jenny um, and Lisa Lamb went to, wasn't it? Yes, she was scared of buying computer ice. Oh, no, it's not that computer ice. Thanks, everyone, says Lynn. Chew it. Hayden says your shows are amazing. Thank you very much indeed. That's very kind of you. Now, I've just knocked my extension lead on the floor. And I'm frankly going to pull everything off the table in a minute. Uh, let me just unplug everything. So There it goes. There it goes. Um, right. Um, so now, so I'm not on Sewing Street this week. Normally at this point to go, so this week on Sewing Street. So I'm not there all this week at all whatsoever i'm not back in now till the 23rd not back in till the 23rd now oh hang on what's this is this people saying they can't find me no, right um right so i've got nothing to tell you about Sane street because i'm not in um is there anything you've seen recently that you loved on Sane street anything you'd like to see on Sane street now, uh, my next... Oh, no, I've got to tell you about what's coming up on um, Threads of Life. Daniel's already sent my email, so I've got to tell you, right? So the shows on Threads of Life this week are tomorrow, Drafting Blouse Collars and Tailored Collars with Rebecca Harrison. Uh, Wednesday, it's Loose Threads and Vix and Michelle Eagleton are the two guests. And then... Um, Friday, meet the designer, Lisa Lamb. Oh, now, and we've still got some space for more questions for Dr. Mike. Email them in, but make sure you get the right email address. It's studio at threadsoflife.tv. Not live. Angela was trying to send it to live. I think it was Angela, wasn't it? Studio at threadsoflife.tv. So still a few spaces for Dr. Mike when we film his on May the 3rd. Right, what questions did I miss then? Uh, I'll be able to catch up on threads this week instead of watching Sound Street. Thank you. Count on the days for you back on. Thank you. Uh, Julie, I think he's on now. Isn't he on today? I don't look. I don't know Stuart's rotor. But he's definitely on. Oh, actually, I can, I can look. Uh, lie. That's a lie. I can look up the rotor for you if you just wait one second. Oh, no, I'm looking in the wrong place. Uh, right. Uh, no, that's May. Oh, hang on. Let me click on there and see if I can get in there. 
Uh, right, here we go. April. What date is it today? Um, is it the 12th today? Was it the 12th? Oh, hang on, I can look in here, can't I? April. Oh, no, it's the 14th today. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong month, that's why. Hang on a second. April. Right, so April the 14th today. So Stuart's on Tuesday, Wednesday and Friday of this week. And then he's on Saturday and Sunday at the end of the month. And there should be a question mark after that. Rachel, me and Gary and Chippy Norton. Oh, are you? Not far away then. Staying at Haythrop Pork. Go West's 80s band was headline last night. Oh, very nice. Uh, Marina, sorry I'm late. I was taking agrophobic puppy for a walk. Okay, this puppy is, what is he? 98 pounds or something like that already. There you go. There you go. Everyone's answering. Stuart's on Tuesday. Stuart's on Tuesday. Uh, Sandra Santangle Court was much nicer than the one pictured in the book. It was beautiful, wasn't it? A lot of work. Oh, and she's got the address now. She's got the address now. Uh, Fran, I'm late. Alert only just arrived and I thought it wasn't happening. Why did you think that, Fran? Because I'm not at Sewing Street. Uh, Vix was on today with Adele, a very good demo of a Revere collar. Yeah, somebody said that they'd given her some floral fabric and they couldn't see the stitching. I just saw it on Facebook this morning. Uh, the cats are good, thank you, Mary. Well, I say they're good, right? Um, they were both, because in, when the sun comes in the back, uh, my house is south facing, the back garden is south facing, so it has sun in it all the time. So they were fast asleep on the spare bed. And then um, Alex, my personal trainer, arrived and... Um, Luther loves Alex. He came down and was doing all this. Hello, hello, hello. When I came back in, he'd been sick all over the bed. So I had to strip the spare bed. Um, and um, so he's asleep on the sofa. And uh, Ghost was asleep on my bed just there. But I just frightened him when we went running in just a minute ago. Uh, are you thinking of going to Malvern show? Maybe, Sue. Maybe, Sue. So, oh, not £98, £28. Thought that sounded a bit heavy, £28. Uh, you said last week you were going for lunch today. Was I? Oh, have I missed a lunch? I'm sure I haven't. No, no lunch in the diary. Oh, Sharon, go and have a cup of tea or a glass of wine and come back to it in a minute. It could be something really, really simple. Uh, the words of a human cat caretaker, exactly. And he, he always, and it was like bat. It didn't just go on the, I've got like a nice um, Laura Ashley quilted thing on that bed. It went right the way through it onto the sheets underneath. I was on one, 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 two, one. Uh, Blooming Amazon just left to pass on my doorstep in the rain. Oh no, I hate it when they do that. I've got a big box outside my front door now. But the amount of delivery people that don't put the things inside the box. Um, Fran, I'm a bit concerned now because who was I going for lunch with this week? Oh, no, I know, I know. Originally, we were going to do wedding shoe shopping this weekend. But I then had to work yesterday and Serafina wasn't free today. So we didn't go. But I, I thought it was two weeks ago. Uh, just check. Tickets are really affordable. £7.50 for 65 plus. Oh, there you go. Derek says good afternoon. Uh... Yeah, Sharon, you're clearly missing. Do you want me to pop round and have a look for you? Uh, Attract says, I haven't seen June. No, I haven't seen June yet. She'll be asleep on the sofa, dribbling, no doubt. Um, I, maybe maybe she thought I wasn't coming. Oh, no, I've got the normal amount of people. Uh, thank heavens for washing machines. Oh, no, it's too big to go in the washing machine. Claire. I have to take it to the industrial. It's massive and really heavily quilted. It won't fit in my washing machine. Uh, we've just finished creating a rope bridge for my four furries. They're completely spoiled. Oh dear, animal vomit, all the stains. Yes, I know, I know. It's horrible, isn't it? It stinks, doesn't it? Uh, and also that white cat keeps popping in at night time. Somebody's weeing in the dining room. Um, so I've had to get loads of those um, diffusers and everything today. Uh, I'm off cats at the moment, although I've had a few. A new one round here has managed to get their paw in our birdhouse. Oh no. Oh no, I hate it when they do that. It's nature though, isn't it? Uh, I've got the same issue with Yodel. Oh, that's, um, never mind. Uh, Sharon says, on your way past next time you're down. Yeah, of course, Sharon. Uh, did you do your best dot cotton impression? What, 
when the cat was sick. I don't know what you mean. Happy cats, warm laps. Ooh, no, not they're chucking up on it, princess. Um, it's funny because mine too only choose when they want to sit on your lap. They don't, um, they won't come to you and sit on you when you want them to. They'll only come to you when they want to sit on your lap. Andrew, it's not a laundrette. It's a professional cleaning service. I don't think we even have laundrettes in Stratford Avon, do we? Yeah, I've got it now, so I've got it now. There's Julie Vaughan. Julie Vaughan's in. She's off to Angels to do the tour at Angels, since I mentioned it on air the other day. Because um, Dulcie told me that they did them. So I said on air the other day they do it. And um, Julie Vaughan's book. They only do them on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so. Um, right, so now can you give me any, because I've got no telly things on. I've got no telly things on my, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, Sky Plus. Hello, Sue. Oh, look, all six of uh, Derek's have a rotor that he never has an empty lap. Oh, no, mine aren't like that. Norman and Nelly were. These two aren't. Kim says afternoon. Right, so I've got nothing on because the dancing's finished, the skating's finished, the pottery's finished. Uh, what was the thing I was watching up until last week or the week before? Traces on iPlayer. Oh, OK. I'm going out for lunch tomorrow with my old school friends, about 10 of us. Well, that'd be nice, Veronica. Outlander. That's rude, isn't it, Outlander? It's now sex scenes in it. Do you watch Cross... Oh, no. Race Across the World. No, I don't like that. I watched it once, didn't like it. But they're already advertising for next year's contestants, aren't they? Um, MasterChef. Oh, no, I didn't get into MasterChef until just last year. So is that a new MasterChef? Is that the one with John Turode? Christine, sorry I'm late again, having a good sort out of my drawers. Mm. Throwing out clothes. Don't need to give to charity shop or recycling. Hang on. I don't need to give to charity shops or recycling. You don't need to. Why not? Didn't realise the time, says Christine. That's all right. I'd forgotten it was Sunday altogether. Uh, we started to get mice again. The neighbour caught two. The guy over the back won't cut his blue grass. It's all... Oh, no. Uh, do you like murder mystery detectives? Not really. Well, it depends what kind of mood I'm in. I, when I do sit down to watch telly, I just want something that washes over me. Like um, Married at First Sight. Or I, haven't, I didn't go into Married at First Sight Australia because it, I knew it would take up too much time and I haven't got that much time. Um, so I like Bake Off. Well, I like Bake Off before Alison was on it. I like Bake Off, I like Pottery Throw Down, I like the dancing, I like the singing and all that sort of thing. Uh, nothing that, uh, Bridgeton, I like that, but that's not on yet, is it? And I'm not sure if I'm still on Netflix or not, they keep kicking me out at the moment. Do you watch The Repair Shop? No, Jan, I don't watch The Repair Shop. Uh, the Curse of Skinwalker Ranch. Ooh, blimey. Blue Light, says Sandra. I'll write all these down. Oh, Glow Up! Yes, Emma, I've watched the first Glow Up. Now, I thought that Glow Up was on iPlayer so you could watch them all in a binge sitting. But there's only one. I've only seen the first one. Uh, and I won't say who goes, but I don't think she should have gone. I'll give it away. It was a she now, I don't know. The person that went, um, I don't think they should have gone. I uh, didn't really enjoy Race Across the World with celebrities. Oh, proper, proper people. Uh... Sorting out claims don't need. Oh, I don't know what Christine's on about now. She said she doesn't need to go to a charity shop. And now she's put sorting out claims. Anyway, don't worry. Uh, Alison said, I love it. Uh, that's Curse of Skin Walker Ranch. Palin is exploring Nigeria on Channel 5. No. I love watching Jackson's Galaxy, My Cat from Hell. No. Interior. Oh, I hate that one with Alan Carr. Is that the one with... No, it's just Alan Carr, isn't it? And a very strange woman who's like the interior designer who I didn't trust at all. Uh, so I saw one when they did a room in Chester Zoo and I found the whole thing a bit. Stand Up to Cancer Bake Off is on tonight. Oh, who, oh, I'll tell you what's on tonight. The Olivier's are on tonight. What's wrong with Alison? Oh, nothing's wrong with Alison, but she's on blooming everything, isn't she? It's like when Ryland first became famous. They all get, suddenly they have to, she's just got a whole new Saturday night show, hasn't she, and everything. And you just think, it, there's so many other brilliant, there's nothing wrong with Alison. I'm not saying she shouldn't have got that job, but everything. It's like when Ryland, then 
he got everything. And then somebody else came along and they got everything. And now Alison's getting everything. There are other presenters. I think it's just lazy present a uh, lazy scheduling, isn't it? Hi, John. Have you enjoyed your day off? Well, I kind of have and I haven't. Because uh, I've been busy doing things. Um, um, anyway. Uh, Sandra Mills, they ruined that by killing off the best character. Oh, blue lights. Oh, now you've spoiled that. That's a, that's a spoiler alert. We preferred Bake Off with... Oh, yes. And I don't think it's that she's annoying. I just think it's that why is she getting everything? That's all. I quite enjoyed Whitechapel recently. Don't know what that is. I have to have a look at Oh, yeah. Love of Dogs. That's it. See, she's got another one. Love of Dogs as well. Married the First Australia is good. Started watching with my daughter-in-law in New Zealand. Got hooked. That's the trouble, Angela. If you watch one, you get completely hooked. And I haven't got the time to now catch up. Because it's on five nights a week, isn't it? And it's been on about three or four weeks now. Uh, interior Design Master of the No, thank you. Going to have to go. Take care, says Pauline. Oh, yeah. Off you go. Mr. T on good. Mr. T on good. Kathleen said, uh, Married at First Sight Australia is quite good. Couldn't get on with the last two. This one's funny. Oh, no. The last one was really um, vicious, wasn't it? I love glow up and sort your life out. Hence, sorting out clothes I don't need, want or love. Okay. Uh, Julie doesn't think Alison should do Batty Dog's Home. Maureen says, Design Masters, the Ascot makeover was good. Oh, okay. I only saw the um, one at the Chester Zoo and I didn't really, no. Uh, have you tried talking pictures, mate? Oh, yes, yes, because Margaret always messages me when something's on there. They have, like, Now Voyage and All About Eve and, and Oklahoma and things like that, don't they? Uh, love Sort Your Life Out makes my house look like it's tidy, but it's not. Lynn Twitt says, a good series is A Gentleman in Moscow with Ewan McGregor. Oh, I've seen that advertised. I've known Ewan McGregor for years and years. All about Russian country is stripped of wealth and title and placed under life house arrest. And, oh, is that Country Singer? Oh, I'd seen, I'd seen the uh, adverts for it or the posters for it. I wonder what it was about. Uh, yeah, I know, too. Never mind. Uh, Harry said, totally agree. Plenty of other presenters are indeed. I hate it when they see the same celebs. There you go. Bradley Walsh, another one you see. And I love them. I love them all. Love Bradley Walsh. Love Ryland. Love Alison. But just not on every single thing. You know what I mean? Um, I love Now Voyager. Oh, I love Now Voyager. I've, I watched it again. Not all of it. I just click in. Every now and then, I thought, oh, I'll just watch the bit where she's the, the nervy girl at the beginning. And then, oh, I'll just watch the bit when she walks down the gangplank. And then I'll fast forward to the bit where she bursts into tears. Uh, and then I first went to it when they come off and the family can't believe that she's the most popular lady on the cruise and everything. Uh, oh, Count. Oh, he's a Count. Uh, I think you'd like the, the Good Witch. Nice, uplifting stories. Oh, OK. Have you hit Prime? I haven't got Prime. I haven't got Prime. Oh, have I got Prime? No, I, no, I haven't got Prime. Oh, hang on. And Sky has a deal with Paramount. Oh, no. No, 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 no. i tell you what I'm watching. I'm watching. Oh, what's it called? Oh, what's it called? It's called something light, like Caught in the Act, Unfaithful. I hate the female presenter on it, but it's like the weirdest show where people go and say, I think my other half's cheating on me. So they put a surveillance and they, they bug the car and the house and everything like that. I'm sure it can't be legal. Um, and then they confront them at the end. Uh, oh, 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 hang on, there's loads just come through. Hang on. Right. Um, talking Pictures. Oh, oh, I didn't know Talking Pictures had things like um, The Brothers, Rumpel. Oh, that you mean Rumpel of the Bailey? Now, his daughter in real life is a friend of mine. She just moved to the countryside. Budgie. Oh, my God. I remember the opening. I don't remember Budgie the programme. I remember Budgie the opening titles. He had his he had a little um, tank top and like tight little tight cream trousers on, didn't he? Show gone on Disney. I haven't got Disney Plus. I haven't got Disney Plus. Key Rise open for the next series of Night Manager with Tom Huddleston. Is that the one where he's a, a, a bodyguard? Lynn says, I watched all about Davis films. I gave up on Snack Throne so much. Yeah, but didn't now, last night. Wasn't it their last ever um, Saturday Night Takeaway last night? Do you have a film you watch over and over and over and not tired? Yeah, I can do three of those. 
Four, I think. Now Voyager, All About Eve, Beaches, and... What was the other one? I've got Seven Brothers, Seven Brothers on repeat as well. But I only get as far as the big dance routine at the barn dancing, then I get a bit bored after that. Hang on, this Now Voyager, All About Eve, Beaches, and there is another one. Hang on, there's another one. It's a musical. Um, I love the programme at the very luxurious hotel. Oh, Margaret, that was lovely. It's finished now. I've watched that. That was three episodes. It's finished now. It's really weird because they kept that one for the end, that Delhi one for the end, and I thought that was the least interesting of all of them. I love watching NCIS over and over again and Reacher. Oh, I don't know what either of those are. Uh... Oh, they talk about Betty Davis films. Adam Faith. What did I say? Didn't I? What did I? Who did I say? It was Adam Faith, wasn't it? Did I say somebody else? Uh, Adam Faith, who became an investment, who became an investment guru. Why in real life? Uh, we love Blue Bloods. It's on Paramount. I haven't got Paramount. Chicago Fire. Chicago PD. Chicago Med, which is on Sky or Amazon Prime. Oh, I've not seen any of those. I haven't got Disney ID. See. Uh, oh, now a princess liked uh, Reacher as well. Uh, was Budgie Adam Faith? No, that's right, Lynn, it was. Dev oh, I love, uh, that's one I love, Devil Wears Prada. Now, isn't it funny, because the first time I saw it, I went to sit with my friends, um, Tara Nay and Tara Vat and Meredith, and I hated it. And that now, I've seen it over and over again, I love it. I don't know what the musical's going to be like in town, because they, ne this, uh, uh, is it this year or next year? Uh, that Devil Wears Prada opens in, in the West End. The musical, it's written by Elton John. But it could be interesting. And what's the name? Is it Vanessa Williams is playing the lead character? Beaches. Oh, no, Sandra. I start crying before that bit even comes because I find it, yeah. Uh, James Cagney, favourite films, Angels with Dirty Faces. Uh, Claire said you weren't staying long. All right, Claire, I'll go now if you want me to. Blind me. Uh, Susan, I liked all the Chicago series. Kin. Series one and two are very good. Kin, I've never heard of that either. Is that like kin folk, like family? Oh, uh, uh, right, hang on, let's see. Love all, uh, okay. Movies on repeat, Murder by Death, Clue, Spaceballs, love them. Adam Faith has a permanent table at Fortnum and Mason. What's still? Uh, Jill says, Dirty Dancing, Seven Brothers, Seven Brothers. Yeah, I love that one. Casablanca, no, I was never into Casablanca, Sandra. Never got into Casablanca. Anyway, as Claire said, she thought I was only staying a little while. I've overstayed my um, Spaceballs. I've overstayed my welcome. So I'm not on Stone Street this week. Uh, so you won't be seeing me there at all. Uh, if you are, uh, now, if you've got a thread subscription, oh yeah, the, now the Sheridan Smith Musical is closing very early, but some friends of mine went to see it the day before yesterday and they thought it was brilliant. And they think it's a real shame that it's closing. So I think that's one of those things that the critics have killed it before it's had chance to actually blossom. Now, Olivier Awards tonight is Michelle, uh, Nicole Scherzinger. Is she going to win the Best Actress? I hope so. She was brilliant. I just hope... I'm, I've been on some of those committees, like, you know, the BAFTA and the, and the things like that, back in the day. And I just know people get, oh, we won't give it to her. We won't give it to her because she's this. Or we won't give it to him because he's like that. I hope she does. I'd love to go to New York and watch her doing it. Um... Oh, Susan's agreeing with Princess. Uh, no, I don't use go, says Claire. We'll miss you, but my bank balance went. Thank you, Jan. Pauline says, I love Shirley Valentine. No, I've never seen it. Never, ever seen Shirley Valentine. Ever. So maybe I should go watch that. So this week on Threads of Life, tomorrow, drafting blouse collars and tailored collars with Becca Harrison. Wednesday, loose threads with Vix and Michelle Eagleton. Thursday, oh, oh, I've got to tell you the live chat. One of these on Thursday from the studio. And you can set a reminder by clicking it, it into it on the calendar and then pressing I'll be there. Well, that's good to know that. Friday, meet the designs with Lisa Lamb and keep your Dr. Mike questions coming in. We've got loads, but we've got space for a few more. Uh, thank you, and this afternoon, John. Have a jolly good week. Take care. Thank you, Jane. I'm thinking I might go and get in my hot tub now. No, no, it's not a hot tub. It's not, <laughs> it's not a hot tub. Now, when you watch them on YouTube, right, everybody's got a woolly hat on. Uh, oh, what time is it? It's six o'clock. Six o'clock on Thursday, live from the studio. Live from the studio. And what I was going to say about Threads of Life is, you know, you can tell your friends they can now do a monthly. They can do a monthly uh, subscription now if they don't want to do. Uh, you pay a little bit more 
it's nine ninety nine a month, so it's more than if you do a yearly. But we can still do the monthly one if people just want to have a go. Uh, right, hang on, look, we've got missing these, miss these. Have a one for I've done that one. There's a nice film, The Age of Adeline. Oh, I don't know what that one is. That, Andrew says very much the opposite of a hot tub. Christine's have a great week. Binging toll. I don't know what that means, Fran. Binging toll later. Um, Julie says, have a lovely week. Thank you, John, says Princess. Enjoy your week. Oh. Oh, okay. Fran's going to binge on Threads of Life later. Oh, I couldn't figure that one out. Because then Princess says, thank you. I'm going to catch up with Threads of Life. Did we find out which bins it is? Yes. Uh, there was no delivery. Matt and Cassie didn't have a delivery this week. Um, the bins are rubbish and food today. Thanks for chat by everyone, says Claire. Sue says, enjoy your time in Warrington and change of scenery for you. Winds are... Oh, right. The reason we haven't done anything about bakers yet is because Daniel had a new floor put down in the studio. He's not happy with it. And he doesn't want to put a whole new kitchen in until the floor's sorted. So we're not starting the baking yet. Have a good week, says Liz. I love threads and up to date with all. There's another one coming out tomorrow. A woolly hat on what? On your head, Marie Marie. Hi, John. It's Gobby Linda. Oh, hello, Linda. How are you, my love? Now, you put up a strange... Did you put up a strange Facebook post saying it's all getting a bit serious now? I hope everything's all right. And just says, uh, love, you've got mail. Oh, I've not seen that one either. Viance have a great week. What are you planning? It's not a week off, Sue. It's not a week off. Uh, I'm doing... Uh, tomorrow I'm off. I have my hair cut and personal training tomorrow. Then Tuesday I've got to go to a funeral in Oxford, then drive to Warrington. Then I've got three days filming in Warrington. Then I get back and... I can't remember. What I've, I've got the wrong diary. I've got the wrong diary. I've got my social diary and not my work diary. So it's not really a week off, I'm afraid. Uh, thank you for the chat, says Susan. Have a lovely week. CFC says hello, everyone, just as we're leaving. Sue says bye. Sandra says have a good week. Julie says I sent my doctor Mark. Oh, brilliant. I'll make sure Daniel's got it. Sue says enjoy your week, everyone. Have a great week, says Margaret. Lynn to it, says have a great week. I'm going to go and look at your kitchen now, Lynn to it. Uh, you've got Mail and Sleepless in Seattle are both good films, says Susan Renouf. Right, I'm going to go have a lovely time. Um, are you here next week? Yes, I think so. As I say, I've got the wrong... Di I brought the wrong diary up with me. Jean's birthday. Jean Myers' birthday next Sunday. And Luciano. My godson Luciano's. Um, rubbish week in its, on its way for me. Hopefully all the good with everyone else. Oh, Fran, don't be, ne don't be negative. Find the positives. Have a great week, says Andrew. Bye, says Carol. Princess says, I'd invite you to mine whilst you're in Oxford. Uh, bye, I've got all your special drinks in. No, no, because I'm literally coming for the funeral and then driving to Warrington. But very sweet of you to ask. How can you cope with two diaries? I need everything in one place. No, I normally have them. I haven't, I haven't sat down at my desk to coagulate them both. That's what it is. Hi, John. Have a great week. Nice to see you last week. Oh, and you and my love. Uh, bye, says Sue. Julie wants up into Hampton Court today. Lo lovely in the sun. Oh, it is nice. I used to live near there. Uh, Carol says bye-bye. Kim says the Green Mile is my favourite film. Oh, cranky. Uh, I haven't thought about my dinner, but I think I'm going to have um, egg salad. I think I'll have an egg salad tonight. I bought some of that nice... Is it called Butterhead? But are they called Butterhead, those leaves? Anyway, um, so don't forget to watch Threads of Life. Don't forget to get your questions in. Oh, someone's had, um, someone's just sent me a message about Threads of Life. Oh, thank you, John. As, oh, all right, brilliant. Uh, and we get so much compliments on it. It's fantastic. It's really, really lovely. But you do need to get your friends to start subscribing as well. Butterhead. What did I say? Anyway, I'm going to go. It doesn't matter. Uh, have a lovely week, everyone. I'll let you know from here next Sunday, but I'm sure I am. It's my brain's not working. I need to go and get my cold tub to sharpen my brain and get rid of my dithering and hopefully it'll sort my knee out as well uh anyway take care lots of love i'll see you next sunday uh oh sue sent in a question for dr mike oh brilliant brilliant yeah get them all in because we're filming it on may the third i think i think it's may the third anyway liz says bye bye liz bye fran take care everyone uh thanks for watching thanks for listening i'm gonna go now bye